Hey guys, welcome to not the video. Can you guys hear this song? <laughs> okay, so there's a party going on very far away from here, I'm sure, but apparently the music is getting here and I want to do this video now because I don't know if I'll be able to do it later. We're still on today's what's this date? Today is the 24th of June and I've actually read almost all my books. I just have two left that I had already started, but I don't know how it's working. So anyway, let's just pretend I did not say anything. I don't know what is wrong with me. Anyway, so in today's video, we're going to be picking out my July reads. Okay, so you guys know already, you know the drill. I always try to read one motivational or self-development book every month. And last month, I read the ones I wanted to read as in I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. So this is the one I'm, oh, sorry in the wrapper so this one I'm, I'm thinking i would actually pick up for july look at look at who, who, who does not want to look like this and eh? so this one is how to live your best life by maria jesus christ i cannot pronounce her name <laughs> i can't pronounce her name so you guys this book is really look ah, it's sleek i like it sleek i love black books actually so don't mind me my boyfriend says i'm a racist <laughs> because i love black books are you kidding me so this is one i'm going to be using uh, uh, this oh god this one i'm going to be reading in july now let's go to my tbr jar as you guys know the yellow are the ones that i bought since that i have not touched so let's pick one yellow like we normally do so i'm going you guys let me tell you one funny story about this jar tbr jar so basically babe removed all my prompts and put some other prompts in it i did i showed you guys in the vlog so he hid all these prompts and then i i was not you know i just sat down one day and i wanted to pick something from the jar like just like the way we normally do i don't know if you guys do that i just pick just to make myself feel happy and read it and be like okay maybe this book will go with this you know okay and i picked and i'm seeing you are too stubborn <laughs> that was what, he wrote a lot of rubbish blah 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 it was one of the just go with that vlog. Anyway, so let's pick a yellow one. Shake, 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 shake. Okay. <laughs> let's do this one. This yellow. What does it say? Chasing facades. Here it is. This is by Elizabeth Ulushola Adeolu. It's actually a small book, but I think it has a lot of pages. It has 300 and... 16 pages even though it's a short you know short short book but yeah if i had not picked it i'm sure i may not have picked this book because i'm kind of scared of the marks you know like like this is like a dark side of you i don't know this says tire Dabi, rising star at the only detective agency in sonowe state nigeria loves her job and believes she's good at it her confidence is however rocked when she investigates the mother of a successful and wealthy contractor her encounters with the beautiful grieving widow and the handsome brother of the mother victim leaves her intrigued distractions by several other cases that showcase the underbelly of a beautifully realized fictional city of sonora do not do not put tire off the scent of the contractor's mother and the novel comes to a crescendo of an ending oh my god so yeah she's a detective and she's trying to uncover a mother so that is this one chasing facades white ones my prompt let me take this one that's looking at me here uh, it doesn't okay this one i'm open i'm praying a romance book yes 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 you guys i actually had some books here that i put that i'm open to i was open to pick for the one of at least one of the prompts so a romance book i'm going with love and other words by christian lauren you guys i'm so happy i finally picked this book i, I want to read it <laughs> so oh my god oh my god the the synopsis is actually really long so i'm just going to say it's a everybody says it's a small town romance and it's the most beautiful book they've ever read it's actually beautiful physically and also spiritually maybe <laughs> so I, i'm actually glad about this one i'm not reading the synopsis i don't want to know i'll find out when i read it everybody probably even knows about it already next one a brook with a pretty cover 
the funniest thing is i would have actually picked <laughs> i would still have picked this one if i had not picked it already so with a pretty cover uh pretty cover my house pretty cover all of them have pretty covers <laughs> i picked these two because i think they are pretty i have hard bones by colin hoover and i have uh, rose and the bomber sky by rosanna amaka so since these two i'm going to ask babe to choose one of them for me baby this or this so he chose hard bones by colin hoover so that's why we're going to go with the pretty oh i was supposed to say which one is the prettiest so which one is the prettiest it's still it's still the one he chose okay they are grim has only ever known a life of poverty and neglect after surviving by any means necessary she finally has a hard earned ticket out of kentucky with a full ride to penn state Two short months before she's finally free, an unexpected death leaves her homeless. Shit, I said. <laughs> an unexpected death leaves her homeless and forced to spend the remainder of her summer on a peninsula in Texas with a father she barely knows, begging the summer to go by quickly and hoping to remain as invisible as possible. Bea wants nothing to do with Samson the wealthy brooding guy who lives next door to her father and who couldn't possibly understand where Bea is coming from or what she's been through but with an ultimate immediate connection too intense for them to deny and future leading them to opposite ends of the country Bea and Samson decide to stay in a shallow end of the summer fling neither of them realizing that a rip current is about to drag both their hearts out to sea honestly Kalinova never ceases to amaze me so i am excited about this one i don't know what the hell i read about but she's in love with a neighbor yeah yeah uh let's go with this one a cover the color of the shirt you are wearing ah i'm wearing black i'm wearing black with blue and orange and white so we are going to look for a book that is black with blue and orange and white so hard to find a book that is black and orange and white with blue ah, messed up all my books where are you <sighs> okay guys i don't have a book that is black and blue and orange and white so i'm just going to chill off on this so let's take another prompt uh, how many books in total am i even planning to read six or eight books like usual a book with an element in the title like water or fire this is so difficult okay i still have to pick this sky sky is sky an element no in the title in the title i can't find any book with an element in the title but i have these two books with sky and star so i don't know i'm just going to hold on on that prompt so now we're holding on on two prompts where's the second one i just realized i don't have much books wow amazing so i'm picking this a book with a three word title thank you finally thank you shout out <laughs> the no show by bethel larry okay finally the no show right right okay so it says three women three dates one man missing i don't know what this is about 8 52 a.m shoban is looking forward to our dates with joseph breakfast on valentine's day surely means something so where is he 2 43 p.m miranda's hoping that a valentine's day lunch with carter would be perfect way to celebrate a new job but why hasn't he shown up 6 30 p.m joseph carter promised to be jane's fake boyfriend at the dreaded engagement party tonight but he's not here meet joseph carter that is if you find him i mean if you can find him this is crazy so, so he apparently made a date with three different women at different times and he did not show up for any of them they are gonna kill him at least i know i'm gonna kill him if i find him i'm hoping to pick twisted games please twisted games please a thrifted book okay the chain the only way to get your child back is to kidnap another child the chain by adrian mckinty i've not read something like this your phone rings a stranger has kidnapped your child to free them you must abduct someone else's child your child will be released when your victim's parents kidnap another child if any of these things don't happen your child will be killed victim survivor abductor criminal you will become each one you are now part of the chain <laughs> <laughs> you guys that sounds so really scary so that's the chain by adrian mckinty it's a thriller mystery 
kind of book. I have two more options. I'm going to select one. I pray it's Twisted Games. Twisted Games, please. Let me pick Twisted Games. Um, a book with a vehicle on the cover. A vehicle. A vehicle. It doesn't even have anything to do with Twisted. <laughs> a car. Oh, like a bicycle. <laughs> I found one guys so this is uh, remember me by Sophie Kinsella and it has a, a vehicle on the cover it has a car like you see that remember me this was actually thrifted too I got it in my recent package but I've not done I've not edited the video I've not uploaded the video it should come up soon Lexi wakes up in a hospital bed after a car accident thinking it's 2004 and she's 25 years old with crooked teeth and a disastrous li love life but to her disbelief she learns it's actually 2007 oh my god she's 28 at it as straight she's the boss of our department and she's married to a good looking millionaire how on earth did she land the dream life she can't believe her luck especially when she sees a stunning new home she's sure she'll have a fantastic marriage once she gets to know her husband again he's drawn up a marriage manual which should help but as she learns more about her new life chink starts to appear in the perfect life all her old friends hate her a rival is after her job then a disabled sexy guy turns up and lands a new bombshell what the hell <laughs> they actually put her in excess xx happened to her will she ever remember and what will happen if she does i love this i love when people lose their memory and we try to figure out what happened <laughs> that didn't come out right I'm a, my boyfriend says I'm a psychopath. It says I'm a psychopath. What? But seriously, it's, it's giving me Never Never that I just read by Colin Hoover. That one they they forgot. They were forgetting every 48 hours, which was actually really crazy, insane. Just wait till my, my wrap up video, okay? I think that's all for now. So I'm going to just go over them again. So the first prompt I selected was Chasing Facades, and this is how it looks like a romance book. I went with love and other words by christina lauren which i actually am excited about a book with a pretty cover my boyfriend says ad bones a book with a vehicle on the cover i decided to choose this remember me by sophie kinsella it's a thrifted book i just recently got a book with a three word title i chose the no show by beth o'leary a thrifted book i chose the chain those are my picks i'd like to know which ones you are picking honestly you guys the, i'm still going to read twisted games i'm very sure about that in fact it feels like this is going to be the first book i'll read twisted games and i don't know about this one here the first to die at the end but i think i'm also going to read it that's if i don't read it this month before next month you you understand, you understand? i'm a mood reader too sometimes and for my inspirational slash motivational book i'm going to be reading this one which is how to live your best life by maria it's cool i cannot pronounce so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching let me know which ones you are going to read next uh yeah this is this is this is this was a <sighs> oh my god with the elements in the title how the hell am i supposed to find that i don't have a book like that see you guys later a book with a three-word title when did i pick that oh i forgot i picked it <laughs>